Why not start the achievement hunting, platinum hunting, 100% completing and perfecting journey with the game that helped my channel become what it is today, Black Ops 2. I'm going to be grinding and going through many, many painstaking achievements and challenges to inevitably get that perfect platinum or 1000 out of 1000 gamer score on my Steam profile. To start out, I have played a lot, and I mean a lot of Black Ops 2, mostly zombies, but the one thing I never played since the release date of it was the campaign. So I decided to go right into the madness by putting the difficulty on veteran and going through the story. This racked up a good number of achievements, just like any other game, but by the end of it, it took me around 8 hours to accomplish this. Call of Duty campaigns like to have achievements that require certain tasks such challenges to be done during specific missions. I had access to the achievements list because Steam is nutty like that, and it would allow me to see which ones could be done during my playthrough. But, uh, next time, I should be able to get all of this, uh, next stream. Most of them are harder than it looks, so I had to ignore a lot of them because I would spend 45 minutes on just one challenge. After the campaign was finished, I initially thought the campaign was going to be the fastest portion of the achievements, but no. There's one little achievement called Giant Accomplishment. For anybody wondering, I am doing all the challenges right now. So all these right here we're doing. So there's 10 challenges in each mission, right? And, uh... Yeah, they're not really that easy. The description says complete all challenges in Black Ops 2, but the amount of tedious, monotonous, and grinding I had to do for these achievements almost made me go overboard. The fucking RPG dudes are like scary. We need to get this cosplay movie. Get the press. Each mission has 10 challenges. While there are 16 missions altogether, five of them strike force missions, totaling 160 challenges altogether. This wouldn't be a problem if you could just complete them all in one try, but no, the developers made it not so easy. Challenges are specific to each mission, and all are different with varying difficulties. All of the missions have complete the mission without dying, get a certain amount of score by the end of the mission, and the intel. And this game has barely any unskippable cutscenes. You must complete the whole mission to make the challenges complete fully and this overall means you will be replaying each mission like 10 plus times for challenges this was not easy and i'm not even joking for a reaction the challenges in retrospect aren't that hard the sheer amount of them makes it a completionist living hell and on top of that i found out later down the road i have to do the strike force missions where you play like an rts and control your own soldiers and stuff and let me tell you this was easily the worst experience i've ever had with this game you guys suck. Oh my god. Dude. Additional squad and like, to they got taken out by one guy. Holy shit, they fucking blow ass. And they're not Truth even killing thinking it. about this is impossible to complete in one run. Wait, wait, the guy's even stupider. Wait, they're not destroying it. ASD on ground, pushing out from set point. Reinforcements deployed. Eagles on ground. That's a kill! First laser defense side under our control. What? Bro! Not only do they have their own 10 challenges, but the AI in the game are insanely dumb. As soon as I was notified that these had to be done, I immediately went over to them and started to knock them out. I got it. Yes. Strike force is not easy, bro. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom, mother. Ga 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 ga. I got it. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Okay. Sure. So boom, look at that shit. Ten out of ten. 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 One of the worst missions wasn't even the main mission, but one of the Strike Force ones named Shipwreck. Each mission has the challenge to not go into first person mode and use tactical view only. Mark waypoint. Dude. Moving to Mark waypoint. Isn't that just lame? They're legit just staying there.
That was almost enough to make me quit, but no, I'm not giving up when I'm so far in, but I would probably lose a few years of my life from this. Several hours later, I finished the missions and went back to the main campaign. At the end of this, I spent over 27 hours just on the challenge go. to finally 100% the campaign achievements. It's always delayed, I don't know why. So then, Farid shoots him, and then he shoots him. We did it! We did it! We're done! We're done! Yes! We did it! We had locked all of them. Yes. This is a good man, but I guess don't kill oh. him. Shoot him in the leg. Oh, we're you done. You said killing. For anyone wondering, Steam achievements can either be tied to one specific game as a whole, or be separated in sections depending on how the developers release the game. Black Ops 2 is the example of separating the campaign, multiplayer, and zombies into their own categories and downloads, so I was able to keep track of every achievement within their game section. I need you all to hear me out. I had to do some hacking slash illegitimate stuff to get these achievements on my account. Old Call of Duty games just like Black Ops 2 on console and PC, are known for hackers, cheating, and basically people disrupting the game because for whatever reason. The multiplayer achievements, most of them I was only able to unlock when the game initially came out back in 2012. I was only able to unlock one achievement on PC, but I did that back in 2017. But the other achievements I had to do illegitimately. Big leagues where you have to complete Five matches after getting placed into a division is entirely impossible, but the others are technically possible, with one little exception, the hackers. I tried my hardest to unlock these achievements on and off my stream, but to no prevail, I was DDoSed, and I was DDoSed multiple times. And if you don't know what DDoSing is, it's basically getting hit offline. Think of it as you're on the internet one second, and then the next second, you're not, and there's nothing you can do except wait and restart your router. And just to display where I'm at, I want to be transparent and say that the multiplayer achievements were undoable. But I used a program to unlock them on my Steam account, which doesn't hurt anybody, by the way. I just want you guys to know that it doesn't hurt anybody for me doing this. It really just showcases that, like, I have them unlocked. Really nothing bad happens. And to prove to you guys that I did unlock them, here is my Xbox account. I still have access to my Xbox account, and I got Black Ops 2 Midnight Release with my dad back in 2012. By that point, I was 15 years old. So I have all the multiplayer achievements. It's just I don't have a problem with the games not being alive because in most cases, that can get people to, you know, fill up a public lobby. But in this case, if you try to go public in any regard, you have a chance of losing your Steam account, your IP, and getting DDoS hit offline, all that jazz. So I'm sorry that I had to do it, but, you know, I'm staying, tra I'm staying transparent about it. And at the end of the day, I don't want to risk my account. I don't want to risk the content I could be doing just because people want to be mean or, you know, they want to ruin somebody's experience. So I had to try the best I could. And this is what we had to do. So I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but just know, do not play these old Call of Duty games on PC and console. All right, straight up. It's not worth it. And I promise you, just ignore it. In my opinion, some of the worst achievements are the ones where you have to be playing public matches, multiplayer, or very time-sensitive ones. Black Ops 2 has a few like that, like playing Diner Turned. Do you remember this game mode? It's been brought to my attention that you may have a certain fondness for Call of Duty. For the first time ever, you get to be a freaking zombie. If that's the kind of business you're into. The game mode where you play as zombies and go ultra super speed to kill a human? Yeah, me neither, but luckily I have a community that was ready and available to help me get the public match achievements. After getting the squad for Diner Turned, played a few matches to unlock the achievements and then moved on to the other co-op achievements. So grab this, hurry! It's blinking. Ross, please! It's blinking! It's it's just fire, bro! Okay, you so throw it. Character. Okay, and then I bro. have to... I got it. Whew! 
And Dino so that's wait, hard. Wait, you, so you actually go invisible. Wait, wait, hold up. Shoot us. I'm, I am. I buy symbol. I got it. Oh, I did. oh wait. The achievement didn't pop up you once. The achievement? I did get the achievement. Infinite. <laughs> you think it, you're funny. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's literally about to disappear. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so fucking close. Okay, there's that. So throw it. Okay, and then uh -oh. I pick it up. Okay, I got it. We got it. I got it. Okay, now you can, uh... My bad. Okay, that's toxic. Which, there weren't many of them, but I was able to knock them out and carry on to the solo achievements. This. Oh my god, I'm all three of you. Speed. Well, that was fucking speedy as shit. Starting to fall down. Come on, come on. Yay! Let's go! Dude, only 2.4% of people have that. Damn. Walk backwards, walk backwards. Should we do it like right now? Okay. Oh, he missed. I got you. Yo! I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go! Back and just do it. Okay. Ross, man. Yeah, let Ross kill him. I will be free. I know I will. Or not. Okay. Game crap. You're gonna revive me, right? I don't know how to use it. There you go. <laughs> hey! 1.8%. I think that was. I think this is the most. This is the rarest Black Ops 2 Zombies achievement on Steam. There is around 7 to 10 achievements per DLC, and most can be done solo, so that is exactly what I did. Being the zombies expert I am, I went fast through transit with minor mistakes. Okay, I gotta grab these pieces. Okay, it's okay. I got burnt. Oh, there it is. So this should be an achievement right here. This should be an achievement. I gotta wait for the bus though. You need help? <laughs> this will hey! Hey! And maybe. Yo! Dairise gave some leeway with some early round stuff and a perk rotating achievement that stumped me for a second, but I managed to eventually unlock it. Yes! We're done. We're done with die rise. Yes! Oh. Mob of the Dead was pretty simple. I had to do some specific things with Perks and Brutus, but I left Pop Goes the Weasel for the last achievement altogether because it's basically completing the Easter egg and letting Weasel kill everyone on your team, which breaks the cycle. Poetic, I know. We got it. He, bro, he hit it. I, Infinite and I, in chat, literally agreed with it, too. We heard him hit it. All right, Infinite, you can kill yourself. That, that, that way, you know what I mean? Buried, man. Buried took me a long time because a few achievements required some pre-planning to get what you needed. Like pack-a-punching a weapon on round one without the bank or weapon locker, which basically entails you to knock down barriers with Leroy from the max distance, and have no mistakes with doing them, then going through the witch's house without them touching you. I mentioned the witches touching you because if they touch you once, you lose 2k points immediately, which throws that achievement out the window. So after attempting it for a while, I finally managed to not have a heart attack with the witch and unlocked it. This is where I fall through the map. Why is chat extra snarky tonight? Yes! Oh! And then surviving the maze on round 20 and higher just requires skill and not dying. Of course, it was super easy for me. 
All right, we're ready to get the last achievement unburied. The last one. Let's go. And finally, the last map, Origins, which is my most played map of all time. Because if you don't know already, I used to speed run it a lot. So I just needed to do some co-op achievements and some fun ones. Guys, I don't know. It could be just an overlook of stuff. You got to realize that most people that probably go into streaming or like look over it probably don't stream themselves or really do anything with that. They're just there to make the money or they're just to be like, okay, sure. Got it. I'm on a tank. I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's the, yeah. The faster in disguise is that, and the Easter egg is 3.2%, but yeah, this is the, the rarest zombies achievement. Load and behold, the last achievement. Pop goes the weasel. I grabbed my squad, loaded up the map, and we went for it. No troubles in any of this, but I had a blast playing with friends to finally get the last achievement for Black Ops 2 all together. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah, my sure, sure, God, right. is it time to break the cycle? It's time to continue. No, stop. Stop. Okay. yourself in the electric Grab chair. Yourself. And then everyone hold a nade besides me. Oh, I got it. Okay, nice. No, it's go. fucking completed. Everyone hold nades. Oh. <laughs> he kind of just threw it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all the achievements. The yeah. cycle is broken. Oh my god. It's done. It's done. Oh yeah. my god. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I know. I know. <laughs> it's done. Oh my god. No more zombies. No more campaign for Black Ops 2. Until BO1. <laughs> Until BO1. Oh. Going into this, I had zero clue that the campaign was going to be the hardest part of this. But I did it. The loop is closed to Black Ops 2, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. By the way, I recently 100%ed Black Ops 1 on my Twitch channel. You guys should come check it out. And finally, I'm ending out this Black Ops series with Black Ops 3. And good God, if I thought Black Ops 2's campaign was so bad, just wait until you guys see what I had to go through for Black Ops 3. Which, by the way, as I'm recording this, I'm still grinding for that. Yeah. Let that sink in. But well, thank you all for watching. And once again, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I will do really pretty much any game, mostly on PC. And if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. But thank you guys and see you guys in the next one.